how the graduation rate, um, uh, which was listed at 74.2% or something most recently, um, you know, that may be good for the U.S. right now. How, how does that compare internationally? And, and, even, any, and even then, if we look at it, and that's one in four students aren't finishing high school, is, is, unless I'm misunderstanding that. And, and that's where I think about um, probably getting that last 25% or so is going to be harder than educating the 75% that came before, you know. And so that, um, I'm wondering what you think about different educational choice curricula, um, the importance, how do you see bridging that last 25, 25%? Is that clear? Well, we're out of time. <laughs> There are several things, uh, I'm, and I'm turning to my expert, Re Rebecca and Angela, to, to help me here. Uh, the graduation rate, uh, in fact, the last time I checked, we, we uh, that's right, uh, that's why we pay you over DPI to have these answers. Uh, no, 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 it's 74.2 for us. I was looking up one in China. No, in fact, uh, the president actually said in one of his speeches that once upon a time we were turning out more graduates than anyone else in the world. And, and I believe was somewhere around 8th or 9th or 12th, somewhere in that neighborhood. So uh, we are not what we used to be. Uh, but this whole business of educating everyone is a tremendous challenge. And, and, and I heard you throw a choice in it. I'm a proponent of choice. I think uh, parents have to decide what's in the best interest of their children. But government steps in, and if, in fact, you're doing the quality work that you need to be doing, then primarily you're going to have the bulk of the young people. Uh, any quick comment? Because we need to. I'm sorry, you, you're trying to get in. What's your name? Uh, hey, Jim. We don't stop with Jim talks. <laughs> uh, Bill, I'm going to try to help you out with help the 74.2% graduation rate. With our high performing co uh, countries such as Singapore, Korea, etc., you will hear a graduation rate of 90 plus percent from those countries. However, you need to keep in mind that in North Carolina, our goal is to educate all of our children. And so consequently, we are including, when we say 74.2%, we are including all of our children, uh, such as those who are at the top of the class, those students who have disabilities. And we have to keep that in mind also when we do a comparison with other nations. And when you look at the graduation rate of our state of 74.2, we are a little bit below the national average in several uh, types of entities that keep up with graduation rate. Uh, but we are gaining ground with our having a graduation rate at an all-time high in our state. Thank you. Well, I think our time here has come to a close. Please thank my panelists.